doing my best and that's going to have to be enough. Hey guys, what's up? We're back with another video. We're getting ready for a Christmas party. I am legit so excited, okay? Because this is probably going to be the party before the storm, if you will, because I have so much to study. This is a bit of escapism. I meant for this video to be like a full get ready with me, but girl, I was running late and you guys gotta give me grace. I did do my nails off camera. They're so freaking cute. These are press ones. Yes, okay, and I also did my hair. I ordered some clippings and they just came. They came like juicy in time. What? It's giving bundles. It's giving bundles. It's giving inches. But anyway, let's. So now that that's out the way, let's go ahead and get into the face, girl, because I'm running late, like always. I literally just had to tell my homegirl or my med school bestie that I'm going to be late. First things first, I'm gonna go in with my primer. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I'm not using any new makeup. I haven't had time to go buy any new makeup. Like, when? How? So you guys know, I, oh, I think I just bought another one of these. Yes, let's use the new one, because this one is kind of bad. You guys know that I started another block. I'm in SF2 now, which is Structure and Function 2, where we go over the brain and the central nervous system, essentially, which, Oh, it's one thing to look at a frog's brain, but it's another thing to look at a human brain. If you watched the last vlog, then you know that I had five exams basically at the last stretch before winter break. And yeah, it was intense, very intense. But overall, I received my grades back and I honored both exams. So I really cannot be, I can't complain. Sorry to hear sirens. You guys know that I moved. It's a little busier here. I think it has been like a little bit of adjustment for me and my son to kind of get used to, but overall we like it. First of all, I don't even think I was talking about that. Sorry. I just went on a tangent. But yeah, so I definitely honored both exams. Obviously it means that I'm passing on to the next level of Jumanji, which is, you know, we're in the clear. Um, overall, it feels really good to, to just know that I have the capability to manage so many things at one time and do well amongst my peers you know i don't know i feel like sometimes i'm just really really hard on myself i mean you probably are getting a little snapshot of that lately like i just have to take account for the fact that i'm just not a normal student like, i don't have as much time at my disposal i have to make a lot out of a little going forward especially going into 2024 i just really want to give myself that grace and knowing that i'm doing my best and that's going to have to be enough med school has a way of definitely making you feel like an imposter eventually you just have to have this attitude i don't need med school med school needs me because i'm going to be a phenomenal physician patients around the world are going to be better off because i am in this field and i think that's the mindset that you have to have especially if you are currently interviewing so if you are currently thinking about applying to med school i definitely recommend you know, going ahead and, and building up that confidence. But I definitely think that it would have helped me out if I would have had this attitude a lot sooner, especially during my med school interviews, because, because, you know, think about it. If there's not many people of color in the field already, there's probably not gonna be a lot of people of color interviewing you either. So you do have to have this sense of, I got this, I deserve to be here, I'm amazing, because you are, but also like, know that. And by the way, I am going for like a no makeup makeup beat, no shocker there, but I am going to be using a little bit more powder because I do want to give drama, just a little bit, just a little bit of drama, you know, drama is good for the soul every now and again. And also, I don't know how I'm going to go out again, so I'm going to try something different. I want to mix my blush with my bronzer. Well, I don't know why that, that milk bronzer was just very very chunky like and you guys know i am a taurus okay baby i'm a taurus all right taurus in general are just really hard workers so if they want something they'll do it and they're not going to make excuses for it they're just going to go after it that's very much a part of my personality i think that's also aiding me in being able to focus on so many things at one time and you know just keep it keep it pushing not only am i a medical student but i'm a mother and then i am class president working full about well, almost full time honestly y'all i work about 30 hours a week at my job that i had prior to med school i've never quit essentially i just kept it because i i just couldn't i couldn't see myself living off of school loans not me in my big age in my 
big 12 year old boy like i just couldn't see myself doing that so i couldn't let my job go and they have been actually very understanding and very flexible with me so i'm very grateful that god aligned everything when he did i'm really happy that i do have this avenue to make money because I, I really don't know how else I was going to do it like how sway like how sway was I going to pay all of my bills take care of another human being and go to medical school like I just I don't I don't know how I was supposed to do that so obviously I'm doing what I gotta do anyway all that to say that's currently how I am surviving financially I know someone asked how I am doing this as a non-trad financially how I am approaching med school now you know girl I work because I'm crazy and I'm a workaholic but my grades are not slipping I'm retaining the information and I typically score above average on our exams so don't shoot the messenger, I'm just saying, it's possible. Especially if you can find a job that A is gonna be flexible with you, but also is going to help you later when you're applying for residency. But yeah, so I work, it pays my bills, they're very flexible, I don't have to go to the office very often. And it just works out. That's how I'm taking care of things, y'all. I try to do my budget for the month and the month ahead. Three months before, I'm a big planner. Now, do I always plan on time? No, not always. Sometimes I don't, I fall short, okay? But I have a goal and I'm always aiming to meet that goal. And so therefore that's what helps me keep afloat. Yeah, she looking good already. She looking good already. I hope I'm not looking washed out. Did I add too much? I think I added a little bit too much. I think I added a little bit too much. So, I'm gonna show y'all a little trick. To dim it down just a tad, I'm gonna take the pressed powder that I'm using to go underneath my eyes and I'm gonna just go over it just a little bit more. This is the translucent, ooh, what is that? This is the translucent powder by Laura Mercier in Honey. So it does have like a slight hue to it. I'm gonna just go over it up here. Dust it off. Just the access, blend it in. And I think she looks kind of good as new. And then I'm gonna go in with the MAC Prep and Prime Fix It Plus Spray just one more time. Before I forget, I am also going to dab the blush that we use on our face. I'm just gonna take a little bit of it and put it on my eyelids. A little rouge around the forehead because y'all, I gotta be forehead. I'm gonna take the NYX Dewy Finish Spray as my last setting spray. And she is done, baby. So let me go put on my, my little sweater dress and then I'm gonna show you guys the final look. She a little wrinkled, but you get the point. I'll see you guys. Peace.